Yeah, one more thing about the dilemmas is I've got to be able to have where I can pull these drawers out. And I can just really easily move this in order to get to this bottom drawer, which has a lot of soup in it. Um, as you can see, it's full. Probably have 30 days worth of food between these two drawers. And these are all accessible. That one over there is a little bit tough. But of course, I can pull this all the way straight out. See? And that's cool. So, yeah, I've got some finagling to do. I did this yesterday when I had gotten home from work. I only had a short shift yesterday, so feeling maybe a little bit more creative today to go through this. But I need I might need a miracle because of the amount of stuff food that I have in here. Might as well show you from this side. Here's the Jackery panel, solar panel. It's a 50 watt. I used this mainly when I was in the desert uh, to charge up the Jackery. And here's the table that I don't like sitting there. So I'm gonna maybe try to do some juggling with that, get it back into the back area. And there's the little table set up. Little bit chaotic, especially with the three bottles of water. But like I said, for now, or I've been saying I'm a little bit overloaded. And then there's the food boxes. Here's my laptop. I don't know, the gas can sitting there, you know, that I never use. They say have a gas can and then you'll never run out of gas. <laughs> I've run out a couple times in my life where I did not have a gas can. Since carrying that, I'm not running out of gas, so go figure. And then I showed you the clothing, and here's an extra bag of chips. And just a bit too much right now, too much. But I'm here for just a little bit longer, and maybe I can rearrange again. So I may open up those gray boxes and... I don't know where I want to put it because I like this space right down here on the floor. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, I'm going to try to get creative here. I love to play Tetris and get things really super organized. Maybe I'll even lift the height of this table and put a gray box underneath. I don't know. We'll see. So let the organizing begin. I want to get rid of this box. I don't like sit sitting on top of my canned goods drawers. I am going to simplify this, maybe get rid of these gray boxes and put this all in like plastic bags so that I can fit a little bit more of my miscellaneous in here. I am going to perhaps do one of these for snacks and one of these for bread and I don't know, make some sense of the chaos. I know y'all are probably thinking, whoa, what's going on here? Well, keep watching. All right, up close and personal. I always told you I was a snack attack lady. I don't uh, eat a ton of snacks in a day but I do do my share and this is a complete mess and to tell you the truth started organizing here a little bit <laughs> look at this <laughs> oh my gosh I told you OMG um, this is how I do it I create chaos into beauty <laughs> And back here is that box I was telling you about. I'm thinking I could really use another box exactly this size. Maybe I'll have to get one at work. But this has ropes in it and things that I just never use. <sighs> Wish I could just make it disappear. And a bathing suit that I've been carrying with me for two years that I never use. Hiking boots, I've used those plenty, but not at the moment. And here's beanies that I 
crocheted and wanted to give to the homeless and just haven't done it yet. Shame on me. And over here, yarn that I thought I'd be crocheting and knitting and or crocheting and it's not happening. And just really some randoms. So as you can see, I got some work to do. <laughs> All righty. I just might be getting somewhere. We've got the drinks for the front. We've got the bread box with oatmeal, real oatmeal. <laughs> some of these yummy pies. Can't resist some granola down here. Let me see, the English muffins. Yep, I just got carried away. That's what happens when you work at Walmart. And you think you need to stock up for two weeks, okay? Or more. And then here's the snack attacks, nice and organized. I used to have drinks in this thing. And we've got some peppermint patties, peanut butter, some crackers on the bottom. And this is nice and organized. You know, you save money when you buy in quantity. So, you know, you get 12 of these in a in a box or something and you only need three so <laughs> it's like same with these guys you know and then by the time I'm done eating all this stuff I'm like sick of eating this kind of snacks and then I go to something else but here's all my power bars yeah and then over here and this is way out of control but I like these uh, oatmeal squares at night with tea I've got pretzel rods I've got walnuts I just bought peanuts the other day. Ah! And then I've got a big old bag of tortilla chips and rice checks to munch on at night. Had to try these, these little butter flavored. So it looks like more than what it really is, but it's until it's, you know, this I bought the big old bag. I only wanted a small bag, but. And then a bag of apples to help keep me regular. Some silverware, a couple avocados I need to eat up. Now we're going to do placement. Look, I swept the bottom here. How nice, huh? And we've just got some random to put together now. Mission accomplished. Check it out. Check it out. We've got the bread drawer. We've got the snack attack box. All nice and neat and organized. We've got the squishy basket that holds the sodas and uh, juice drinks. Silverware. My power bank here. In the back here is a couple eggs and some blueberries, nice and chilled back there. Nice little white basket here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Over on the seat is my work bag or my lunch lunches. I'll probably put it on top of these. Then back here, did a little rearranging, moved the blankets over here so that I can more easily get into the drawer. There's a fan. Actually, I need to give that back to Kimberly. And a little heater that I've never used. <laughs> Takes up too much power. And on top here is a little plastic with my paper stuff. And the little bags neat there. Instead of the big old water jugs, I've got two water jugs here. Uh, this is a miscellaneous box, and then, I don't know, this is a box of brown rice bags. There's my tea, so everything looks nice and neat instead of like, and I changed to put this little tub that, when I'm on BLM, I've used it a couple times for washing my hair, and so that's all nice and neat. And then we come around back here, and... Yeah, shadow's in the way now. In the back here, instead of using that rectangular box, I put everything down deep in there. My hiking boots, my yarn, my 
beanies that are already made. Here's the Road Pro. Uh, oh my gosh, this is so silly. This has like one inch of peroxide in it. And I'm feeling like if I throw it away, then I'm going to need peroxide. <laughs> How stupid is that? And this is my handy dandy that I use so much on the road. All of these things you can find in my store. Here's the nice little pot here rather than hanging up top where it was before. I can literally still lift this. And there it's filled with drinks. And also I've got three gallons of water in there. And this I made a little bit neater. I took the pens out and put them in plastic bags, stamps and stuff. And so these are empty. If I sell down my product, I would put them in here. And then over here is nice and neat. We've got a uh, butane ready to grab. Then I've got the uh, cider vinegar tucked back in there. And yeah, that's it. Only thing left to go is to put the table. I'm thinking I'm gonna set it up, up in here. I'm gonna try that. Um, when I actually am using the cooler, when I'm back on the road and I buy some salad and some cheese and maybe some lunch meat and stuff, I wanna see how I can redo this. Um, I got the propane stove now because the butane was giving me some trouble and I couldn't find butane just like I knew that might happen. So Kimberly had an extra uh, pro propane butane, the gas one that I love that I've always used in the past that uh, broke. And so I bought this guy, it's butane only, but in the cold weather, it's, you know, it's in a nuisance. So now I wanna keep both stoves and if I'm at a picnic table, I can just grab this and instead of taking out the whole stove inside. So that's the idea between having two stoves. So for the time being, I got rid of this box that I wanted to and that's the rectangular box. It was taking up too much space. You know, I've got the blanket tucked in there I've got my walking stick. I got a some slipper boots in here. I don't know. It's just, you know, it's not crazy up to the top. There's my little dust buster and my yarn. And underneath this is the blanket and my bathing suit and a couple of miscellaneous. That's about it. So with that, guys, beautiful day. I'm all done. I'm happy. I'll put the table here if I can't get it in the back. And it was fun doing this little project today to keep my mind occupied on other things and still full of hope and faith for the future. With that, blessings in your day and joy in the journey. Later. Forgot to show you that that's where the uh, snack box ended up that has the big bags of chips and such in there. Maybe I'll eat less by it not being so accessible. What do you think? And in addition to that, around the corner we go. Here's the table. Sorry about all the shadow now, but I'm done for the day. And it's a little bit high, so might work that out a little bit later. I don't know, maybe get rid of this container. I'm not sure. And, uh, even put this in that black bag where I have my lunches and fold this up. That would even eliminate some space too. So, oh, look at this guys. So think about all those nooks and crannies and, and that looks nice too. So this is this is definitely the, the basement here. But, oh, the toilet paper is here in the corner too. So how nice is that? Um, everything is accessible. I've got four cans of butane, easy to get to. And I put that ugly gas can right down there in the corner. So if I absolutely have to get to it someday, <laughs> it'll be a little bit of work, but at least it's out of sight, out of mind. So those are my tips. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, click the bell, and love your positive and affirmative comments. Alrighty, one more time. Later.